Good evening. Well, we had an eventful day last week. That was Thursday, the 11th of December, where there were various thunderstorms over the South Island. They started about eastern Otago, which is where we pegged them to happen uh, in our outlook uh, last weekend. So that definitely uh, came off. There was uh, good thunderstorms, some hail and some flooding there as well. And then I talked about how there could be a few storms form and like move up the east coast uh, later on. Uh, Thursday into South Canterbury. Well, that definitely happened, and they moved further northwards into mid Canterbury and North Canterbury. And uh, me being based in Christchurch, I caught those storms uh, in the evening. Uh, it was probably like about oh, 9 30, 10 o'clock. I drove south to about uh, Dun Sandal, and that is the uh, Sinlay Milk Factory. And I got that one shot of lightning over the factory there. I'm pretty proud with that shot. Uh, there are actually a couple of cloud to ground lightning strikes in the background there. I don't know if you can pick them up, but uh, they are there. But uh, yeah, it uh, takes a lot of effort to get these sort of photos. Years and years of taking any opportunity I can. And a lot of the times, you know, a lot of the time you walk away empty handed. And that sucks, but if you don't put in the time, you won't uh, get the shots. Occasionally you get them, and I got this one, so I'm pretty uh, happy about that. There were some other good photos out there. Uh, you can go to the New Zealand Storm Chasers group Facebook page, and you'll see some there from various members of uh, the public. I do remember there was like one cool shot. I think it appeared in the Ashburton Guardian, maybe, uh, of some like farm silos or something. And there was some nice fault lightning in the sky. And then um, some nice shots by, I can't remember your name, sorry, <laughs> on the um, group page from Little River. Some nice fault lightning in the sky in the distance there. But anyway, I'm pretty happy with that. That's not the final edit of that image. There'll be more tweaking to come. Okay, there we go. Let's move forward because there are more thunderstorm chances coming up. And let's uh, look at Christmas Day even. So this is the map for today, the pressure map. Uh, big anticyclone basically over New Zealand, just parked out there to the east. Been a bit of a, 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 a I can't talk properly. Been a bit of an easterly airflow into the eastern South Island. Uh, kept things a little bit fresh, a little bit cool in a way. But uh, there is a big front of approaching there in the Tasman Sea that moves on to uh, the South Island on a Monday tomorrow. Big strong northwesterly airflow ahead of it, heavy rain there for the west coast. Now I'm not seeing much in the ways of thunderstorms really with this front for the west coast. There could be something though. The atmosphere is looking quite stable. But there could be something. Sometimes there is with these fronts as they move up, despite the atmosphere looking very stable. There's just enough lift created by those Alps uh, and the very strong uh, share of the atmosphere that sometimes you can get lightning. We will see. But there is some nice cold air in behind. That's what I'm interested in more. And that'll start to move on to the southwest corner later in the evening and overnight, where there is an increased risk of thunderstorms with that cold air. Fjordland perhaps into western Southland. Let's move to Tuesday where things heat up. That front there moves to the North Island and with it uh, there is some rain. And then there's that nice cold air in behind. The west coast, you're looking unstable. Potential for thunderstorms and hail. And then the southeastern corner, you start to perk up into the afternoon, a chance of thunderstorms and hail there. Uh, then into Canterbury uh, later into the evening, uh, and then overnight, there could be something. Let's go to the next image. This is 1am in the morning, where you can see those showers moving through Canterbury there. Could be thunderstorms, could be hail. Another chance of some nighttime photography, perhaps. So I'll be keeping a keen eye on that. Then it is the uh, eastern North Island, uh, well the lower North Island, eastern North Island's turn on uh, Wednesday afternoon. Actually it starts here in the morning and then perhaps in the afternoon pushing up the east coast there, a chance of thunderstorms. There's that cold air but it's actually extending out quite a bit. It just depends how far north that uh, cold air goes because it could sort of go a little bit further northwards then it could sort of peel offshore and when that uh, cold air support sort of moves away so do the thunderstorm chances. Just depends how far it pushes northwards as to, fa uh, as to how far uh, thunderstorms will push uh, northwards. Then we have a little, little bit of a break. Uh, we get to Friday. Another front there heading onto the South Island. I can't really decipher this one too, too clearly. 
it is, uh, you know, a few days out. It's like, what, six days away. Uh, I won't get into the specifics too much with this image, but uh, yeah, something to watch. This front on Friday. Maybe something there in the west at first, and then perhaps here in the east into the afternoon or evening. But the main cold air is here to the south. And uh, if we go to Saturday, the cold air is there right over the South Island. At this stage, this map is telling me that uh, the upper South Island, uh, maybe inland North Canterbury, uh, yeah, basically upper South Island inland, there could be a chance of thunderstorms uh, there, maybe. These showers do look unstable. Perhaps here in the south it might be a bit cold. Um, these southwesterly winds, yeah. Maybe not something here in the south, but Upper South Island, yes, perhaps. Then uh, later into Saturday and overnight into Sunday, that cold air support sort of, once again, it sort of moves off to the east at this stage. So the North Island, you don't get affected as much. But you never know, something could brush uh, the lower North Island here uh, into the evening. Something to watch. Now we go forward to Christmas Day. Why not? It's 10 days away. Is it something like that? 10 days away? No, a bit further than 10 days away. It's looking pretty inert, not really too much going on. Uh, some high pressure there over the South Island, but because of the fact we're sort of like, uh, you know, into summer quite a bit now, there is actually a bit of uh, like low pressure over the South Island, so like a heat low caused by the heating land, and it causes a bit of low pressure to form. A bit of an easterly here in the east, naturally. There could be some cloud here in the morning in the east, at this stage, according to these maps. But that then breaks away into the afternoon, maybe a light shower north of Banks Peninsula in the morning, but that breaks away to some sun. But uh, plenty of good weather, really, to be honest. A few isolated showers there, we trough about uh, the northwest Nelson, sort of uh, Buller, Westport area, something like that. Few showers there maybe. Uh, Eastern North Island, you're looking a little bit cloudier. A few showers there, onshore flow. Out there in the west, looking very good. Just a few isolated showers there for Northland into the afternoon. You're the only one really getting any instability. These showers are sort of like twins. They're sort of a similar process as to why they happen. But uh, yeah, Northland, a few isolated showers in the afternoon maybe. Low pressure system out there in the Tasman Sea. That could spread a little bit of high cloud over the upper North Island from that low. Maybe. Anyway, we will catch you again next weekend. Hopefully some more thunderstorms this week. See ya.